What is up, YouTube? We are back again with, uh, there's a barn fight I actually found. I actually have a real big uh, thing with these cars. E30s, they mean like a, they got a soft spot for me. And uh, this is a barn find, you know? I found, I've seen this car for four years in front of a house. And I've been chasing down this guy uh, to sell me this car because it was just sitting. Uh, it's in, it's in, it hasn't ran in 16 years. So it's pretty, it's pretty rough right now. Uh, but the value of them are going up like crazy. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that this is probably the number one car to buy right now for restoring because of the value on it. I got this car for a steal. The interior on it is immaculate. The paint, we're actually going to go ahead and try to restore today. As you can tell, it has some very light clear. But body-wise, it's all there. And in Miami, you definitely need a vert to go stunt. This whole little body kit, I don't know about it yet. Well, we're going to have to do the top. I probably might put some Regamaster, Desmond Regamasters on this car. I like it though. It's not a plastic bumper, but it's still E30, you know. I got a little cracked. I gotta get uh, a mirror for it. This guy, he, the guy who had it before, it, his dad gave him this car, so it's a one owner car. You know, I'm gonna do Euro grills on it. Um, I'm gonna get a new mirror. But the interior, like, you'd think for like a vert car that this would probably smell like crap because it's been sitting for so long. But it actually smells so good. And the interior is all there. Like, I took this panel down because I had to get open the other day. But this is very rare. The center console thing, that's like 600 bucks or 500 bucks, I think, if you even find one. It has a dash cap on it and the wheel is pretty beat up. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a Euro, probably like an M-Tech wheel to throw on. It's an auto. I don't care. This car is not fast. I'm not swapping. I just legit want to throw some wheels on it, stance it out, and just have be able to drive it around in Miami. But this is a zero rust car. It's pretty, pretty legit, man. Non-cracked tails. Yeah, this wing is hit, 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 hideous. Hideous. Look at that. Mint. No rust whatsoever pans there I couldn't pass on this car I really couldn't I really couldn't so guys so since we're gonna detail the car I don't even have a buffer but I actually went to this place called detail garage Miami and they hooked us up we got some uh, clean state fabric clean for the leathers some brushes for the mats and and uh, carpet and then seats then we also went with the high performance uh, fine polishing compound by Rupes. Got pads by them, the compound, leather cleaner. And then I had to ball out on this. This is definitely a must because we're gonna need to cut this car. And then we're gonna go ahead and see what it, if we can bring the paint back on it. Cutting pad with the roops or rupes or however you pronounce it. Get it ready. What's the bottom? Be using this.
My boy, that's no polish yet. That's just compound. Sheesh. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> that's no, that's just a cut. Bro, you can't even see me really. We cut the car and we're using a high performance uh, fine polish with a yellow pad. The car looks good already. So we just kind of clean it up now just to get all the fine little details off. Let's see, let's see. Slide. Good. Bro, that shit gonna slide. Alright guys, we just took the seats out. It's pretty filthy from sitting from 16 plus years. We're about to do a shampoo, a carpet detail. We're gonna detail the seats as well, the center console, everything, everything. Shampoo, like I said, over here. These are the seats. Has like water marking. Hopefully it'll come out. All right, guys. This is a before. And the after. なぜなら、ベッドに入ってからは言葉を必要としない。<音楽>